Hey guys, it's Courtney with Your House Fitness and we're going to talk about the difference between circumduction and rotation. Alright, so if you've ever done aerobics 101, you might have started off, you know, doing some shoulder circles, a little warm-up exercise here. This is called circumduction. You can only have circumduction in the human body, in your hips, and in your shoulders. So, if my palm is facing the ground and I rotate here, okay, I know I use the word rotate, this is circumduction, okay? versus rotation. If I take my arm and I'm basically turning it, okay, around its axis, that's rotation. So this is a ball and socket joint and this is a ball and socket joint and that movement can only happen in those two joints. So as another example in my hip, this is rotation, okay, so like when you're doing pivot movements for um, baseball, golf, you name it, okay, rotation. So I'm rotating my femoral head in the hip, okay? So like this is, look, dance move right here, okay? Versus this. If I'm doing shoulder, or excuse me, hip circles here, that's circumduction, okay? Versus rotation. So just think it's how you're moving the long bone in the joint is what dictates the word that you would use, okay? Even though most people would be like, yeah, I'm rotating. Now you know better, right? Circumduction versus rotation circumduction versus rotation okay so next time you want to really impress your friends or right? i don't want you to throw those terms out there and be like this is what circum or this is what rotation looks like all right yeah you'll look really cool uh, if you want some more details um about those terms feel free to refer to the article otherwise uh happy rotation and circumduction okay guys see ya